right, folks, so this is paint 101. I had no earthly idea it was that intense. I normally come in a store, I grab a color, and as you can see, there are about a trillion colors there. And then I grab what I think is the right paint and I take it to the counter. So I'm at Home Depot right now, and this lovely gentleman has just given me a lesson on how to do this correctly. And what he said is when you come in, if you want a certain color, grab the color and take it to them and then they'll get the base for you because they have some machine there that tells them the correct base you're supposed to have with the color. I did not go to school for painting. I don't have slightest idea what I'm doing. I'm DIYing and I just like the color. So I got what I thought was right. And there you have it, Paint 101 Home Depot, okay? I how to dull the tarts are. I believe the, the, the colors are. Mm -hmm. So you have, you have a, okay, let's see. Let me make sure I get you right, okay? So here you have an ultra pure white, right? Okay. Now, if you were to do the ultra pure white, that would be like your neutral, your Swiss colors, your very light colors. Okay. That would require this base, 70, 50. These are the base numbers here. Okay. Okay, then if it goes to a medium, a deep base, that's for your blacks, your burgundies, your navy blues, anything dark because it's, it's a deep base, which means they give you more room in the can in order to create the color. Okay. okay. You got an issue with being on my... No, okay, I, I good, good. Thank you. Okay, and then <laughs> on the medium base, it's just basically for your more mid-tone colors. Not too dark, but not uh, neutrals either. So it's, I can go and give you some examples of what colors would require which base. Okay. To kind of give you a better idea of what is what. And it, it just varies through sheens. So you have your flat sheen, you have a satin, and then you also have a semi-gloss finish, which is just the only thing difference in these is that when you paint your house with the, the, regards to what color, mm -hmm. it'll the sheen will determine how shiny it is once it's dry. Okay. But every one of them has a different base in order to determine which color that you want in that finish so that they're, that, that they're capable of putting whatever color you want in whatever base. Okay. So I can, and I'm gonna mix this and I'm gonna show you this. Uh, I can go over here and show you a, so the other one that we needed since it was a lighter, the center stage, uh -huh. it would require a 70-50. But the uh, shark skin required the 74, which, you, which was correct. All right, folks. All right. This is Paint 101 because if you don't know, this is Home Depot. And to kind of give them a better insight on the sheens as far as when we went like different bases and uh -huh. sheens. This is what we call a sheen card. And what it does is better in the lighting. But if you reflect it, it shows you how shiny your paint would be after it's dry. So some people like a little shine on their finish, oh. on their walls or trim. Okay. Or they like it a matte with no sheen. So okay. those options are also available once you choose what color. The uh -huh. next step is the finish. The finish, yes. okay. Yeah. All righty. So I'll have yours ready in about five minutes. Five okay. minutes, okay, thank you. 